What is up YouTube? That's it here. Wishing you guys a happy Halloween. We are on the very last day of series 10 and because it's a special holiday full of spooky goodness, we're going to be using Haunter. And for those of you thinking, this is a super cool team, why is there a Haunter in it? Why isn't it a Gengar? Well, Haunter gets some things that Gengar doesn't. Uh, most notably than anything else is it still has Levitate. And for those of you guys thinking like, well, why aren't you using a Sash on it or an Eviolite? We have a super cool Haunter set. Uh, the reason we're using a Levitate Haunter is because we're using, we're pairing it with Zacian and Heatran to mitigate those weaknesses to ground type attacks like Earthquake, High Horsepower, and Earth Power. So Levitate makes Haunter still super, super good. And like I said, it has a 95 base speed. So it's going to be outspeeding those Kyogres, those Groudons, those Zekroms, Reshirams, all those Restricted that have those 90 base speeds. We're going to be outspeeding those. And another cool thing is, like I said, we're using a Quick Claw, which means we can go first sometimes. And if we can go first, well, we can definitely pop off with some Destiny Bonds. So being able to Destiny Bond away a restricted Pokemon through the use of a Quick Claw or through the use of just being faster or through the use of like a Tailwind from a Whimsicott, it's super, super good. And like I said, this set is this set on this Haunter is like actually really, really good. We can ally switch away a single target ground moves from our Heatran, from our Zacian. And we can use like Shadow Balls to actually super, super chunk things. Like, uh, you know, we, we two shot like most sweeper mons with this Shadow Ball. Cause like a lot of people really are going to say like, you should just use Gengar. But Haunter is strong. Haunter is fast. Haunter has a better defensive ability. And you know what? People sleep on the boy. So hopefully you guys are excited for some super cool Haunter Series 10 games. Uh, please let me know the answer to the question today. Let me know what your plans are for Howling tonight. Uh, do you have cool costume? Are you going to do anything cool? I'm probably going to be streaming with this team on Twitch a little bit later today as well before I go do my stuff, but I'm going to go carve pumpkins with some friends. That's going to be what I'm doing today, but I will say, as far as like Series 10 teams goes, this team's pretty cool. You can probably use it in Series 11 as well. There's a link to the Patreon where this team will be posted in a couple hours. I think this team actually is really, really unique. I feel a lot of people rely too heavily on Incineroars to check Zacians, too heavily on Landruses to check Zacians. And, uh, you know, we can beat Incins with Heatran. That also, by proxy, beats their Rillabooms. Um, and then Haunter can just be an absolutely massive bully against a lot of stuff. You'd be surprised how well this Haunter is actually going to work out. So, wish me luck. And uh, let me know the answer to the question in the comments below. And let's get right on to the battles. And let's see if we can pop off with our boy, Haunter Haunter. Here we go. Going up against the Lele Mosa Shadow Rider Whims. Sounds like a job. For Quick Claw Destiny Bond. It does. It, it sounds like a job for it. it this looks like a job for me. <laughs> so everybody, let's go see. Um, I, I like Heatran here versus a lot of these as well. Does Heatran have a Dark Attack? No, I don't think so. I think it just has like Magma Storm and stuff. No, I thought about putting a Dark Attack on it. Like Dark Pulse just for Kali, but it's not. It doesn't need it. These two are good. This one's good. All right. Probably gonna be Scarf somewhere weird, maybe on the Lele. Bunch of mons that can hold Sash as well. I would love this if I could turn one Destiny Bond that Calyrex. That'd be hilarious. And it'd be better to Destiny Bond it, I think, than to just like Quick Claw Shadow Ball, because they could be Sash on the Cali as well. So let's see. Survey says, wish me luck. There's the Cali. All right, yep, yeah, this, is, this is Destiny Bond squad times. Wait. It actually just is going to work. We're going to have Tailwind Destiny Bond. We did it. Let's go, Haunter. <laughs> okay. The only way this backfires is if, like, they go protect Kali and, like, Expanding Force, but then we'll still kill the Entity. So, like, I'll definitely take this all the way to the bank. So, the biggest Destiny Bond the world's ever seen. And uh, we just pop a Tailwind to outspeed the Kali. Let's freaking go out here. I really thought they'd lead Whims. We got the Quick Claw! need it bro we didn't even need the tailwind we didn't even need tailwind quick claw tailwind for good measure just for good measure destiny bond you you better freaking use astral barrage bro don't you dare think you can sub in this situation there we go haunter making plays for days sacrificial benefits haunter yo peace cali Peace be with you, bro. <laughs> oh, man, you love to see that. Quick Claw Destiny Bond schmoovin' on this man right now. All right, and we got a Tailwind up. Um, this is a good situation for Zacian, I think. 
Like when you send out in Sin, or just hard switching my boy Heatran. Probably gonna switch in Heatran anyways. All right. Let's see it. Mosa. Okay. We have. I don't know if we have D Gleam or Moonblast on this Whims. We'll see. Yeah, I think we just want the Envy off the board. We have just Moonblast. That sucks. That's okay though. We'll just protect for a turn. Yeah. What is it? Um, Mosa can be a big problem. Happy we sent out uh, Zashian as opposed to Heatran. There's the follow me. We just want this thing off the board, or at least low enough to we can use Moonblast on it next turn. So let's just go. Drill Run shouldn't do that much. Even a crit, I don't think they KO our Zacian. Maybe they might be banned, I have no idea. Yeah, so it's within range for Moonblast, that's kind of nice. And there's the CC. Yeah, again, it does a lot, but we're EV trained. And uh, unless they high roll it next turn, um, and they're Sash, they shouldn't be able to take us out. A D Gleam here would be nuts. It's going to Behemoth Blade there. Can't go for a big Moonblast. They ignored my boy Whimsicott. Never lucky. But I think this was still the right play with how we did it. We already hit. We already won this game. I'm going to be completely honest here. We already won this game. We hit a quick quad Destiny Bond. <laughs> so, feels great, man. Yeah, we forced the follow me by uh, targeting it correctly here. Let's go. You got Sash on this guy? Yo, so out of like all the mons that could be Sash, it's on this guy. Let's see what the right play is. CC into Whims. Correct targeting. Huh. Yeah, I like that. And I didn't want to double onto the Mosa in case the Mosa wanted to go protect and they wanted to go like, uh, is that a speed boost there? Ooh, that hurts! That's the last turn tail, so they're definitely going to protect here. Damn, are they going to win with a 1 HP Mosa? Am I just going to be really sad? I'll see. Last turn, Tailwind. So we're just going to go for a Behemoth. Actually, we're just going to Sacred Sword into the slot because he should be out of Ghost Types. And let's see what they got. Because they, they, oh, not Sacred Sword. I thought they had an Incin back there. Yeah, it's just find Behemoth Blade there then. So Behemoth Blade here. That'll probably get redirected. Yeah. Let's think about this. Yeah, it has to be just like that. Flash Cannon's fine on the Switch if they want to switch up for Lele. There's the Follow Me. So the Splash Cannon will go into the Mosa. But the thing is, it's like, I don't outspeed Mosa, you know? Yeah, Zashian outspeeds here. Maybe I should have been protecting Zashian this turn. Ah, Mosa's so good. I've been saying it forever. Yeah, let's see. If they can kill me this turn, I probably lose. But if I, let's see if we die. CC into the Heatran, right? Yeah. Heatran can't protect either. You know, like we we almost had it. And I think he's going to get another speed boost there. So, yeah, I think we lose this one. Damn. Damn, damn. I felt myself too much after the quick claw Destiny Vaughn, guys. I felt it too much. The Sash Mosa on the board of like... That whole board could have been Sash. The Kali... The Indity, there's a Whims, um, a Lele, like all of them could technically have been sashed. But it is what it is. And maybe the Whims doesn't have any attacks at all. <laughs> yeah, this is a close combat. 1 HP. Yo, shoutouts to EV training. Maybe they don't have any attacks in the Whims. Man, that's a D Gleam. Yeah, if we had if we had D Gleam on our on our Whims, we had the game too, but we didn't. Ah, uh, yeah, that's an unfortunate set. That's an unfortunate situation, I think. Um, also, like, the, the turn where we protected our whims, I guess we could have attacked and really sped that game up, but... You know what? I'm still going to count that one as funny, because uh, we, we got a quick claw Destiny Bond, and you can't really put a price on that. All right. Let's see. Cali Ice, huh? Cali Ice, how do you deal with my boy? Hunter, Hunter. I, I'm doing it. I'm going to leave with Hunter. I'm going to do another one of these. I think Hunter's sick here. Or do I? I actually think, like, Urshi could be really, really good here, too. Hmm. I'm going to leave. I'm going to Hunter. I think, like, Hunter Heatran's actually, like, a sick play. And then... I know we want Zacian. I don't really need a Lecky here. So maybe Whims. 
or Urshi. Urshi's also super good, but it's not that great versus Rilla, which we know they're going to be bringing. Hmm. I think I, I, might, I might like Wims better to be able to trick room a trick room switch in. Like, uh, Encore trick room, sorry. That's probably the right play. Yo, let's go! Can we get another turn one Quick Claw Destiny Bond? I mean, if it's just versus Akali, we can just hard cast the Destiny Bond. We don't need to Quick Claw. We're faster than they are. Alright, let's see it. But Haunter's not even a bad mon. It has 95 base speed. It has Levitate, which, you know, Gengar doesn't, which is why we're using Haunter. It's a better ally switch teammate for Zacian. This man wants something. He's about to be big sad, though. Think he's going to go for a fire attack? I go for a fire attack. Yeah, just go for the ally switch, bro. I'm going to go for a Magma Storm. I've lived a full life. I like Magma Storm. Yo, can I get a Flash Fire proc, please? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Sacred Fire. Yo, let's go. <laughs> Magma Storm, let's go. Yo, nice trick buddy. It's like I don't even care. Instruct. Go oh, do we get two? <laughs> Another one. Yo, nice instruct, bro. Sacred Fire. Yo! <laughs> oh, that's like actually just funny. I'm not gonna lie. That's like actually just really, really funny. I don't really like that Orangaroo. I hope I don't miss this. Alright, that was sick, by the way. That was sick! This Entei, man. Getting grinded on by a Haunter. Is he just going to Sacred Fire that one slot? Heat Wave, let me hit the Orange Guru. Let's go. Flash Fire proc. Look at that damage on Entei. Oh my gosh, that was disgusting. Heat Train, you're a beast. Roar. Yo, okay. Okay, buddy. Wait, are you going to send out something good? Okay. That's, that's, I can, I can Encore that. So we can Encore the Entei and the Roar and just go for a, a Destiny Bond? Show me the Cali. And if you Trick Room, I Encore that. And if you protect, I encore that. You get an encore. You get an encore. Everybody in the world will get an encore. 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 D bond. Let's go. <laughs> They're probably trick rooming, but like they didn't trick room last time, which makes me think this is like a faster variant. Made to be a little bit of a speed boy. Cause like, why wouldn't you trick room before? Because you can roar. D-Bond! Remember, D-Bond's going to last until I make my next attack. So, like, if they Trick Room here... Or we mean, okay, they go for the roar. They are Trick Rooming. That's fine. I can just Encore that then. Yep. Just Encore it. So the Cali's going to get to reset the Trick Room for us. Thanks, buddy. Glacial Vance. Oh, wait, what? The roar went at a weird speed tier. That's not how that's supposed to work! That's not how that's supposed to work! It's fine. It is, it is still fine. That is not how that's supposed to work, though. Because um, Entei... I guess it used Roar, but it, it went at Entei's speed tier instead of what Roar would normally be. I, I guess that is how that works. That is how that works. That is how that is supposed to work, but that's not how it worked in my head. Let's go, though. I guess Haunter's still alive. I don't have to respect that Entei at all. It's stuck using Roar. Which means we're going to double into this just in case it's like a weird Sash set or like Damage Reduction Berry. Yep, I can Encore that now too. I can just Encore that and hit the Entei then. I was ready with that D-Bomb though, man. I was ready with it. You can only roar one. That's fine. Give me that Haunter back. Heatran. Yo, woke up, chose violence himself. Encore here. I think I'm just going to Earth Power the end. Do I even care about that? Let me actually think about that. I kind of want to just Heat Wave because it can catch something on the Switch, like Arilla. And like, I don't really have to care about this end at all. Yeah. Yep. Show me that Rilla, buddy. Beanie. Oh, gosh. That hurts. Not in my house. I can't believe there's leaving this end in just to, like, big chill. I will actually go for the damage into that Feeny. I, I, I will Magma Storm it. 
<laughs> nah, I might as well just flash cannon it. That's a lot of damage to the Entei still. That's definitely within range for... Alright, there's another Roar. This is his last turn, so we can just re-encore there. It went... He might want to go for like an E-Speed, but like, look at this. Look at this pin here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, f I'm fine doing that. Even if we lose the, the whims to like an E-Speed, that's fine. Hopefully we can take the Feeny out here. Man, this team's sick. I took a long time making this team too, so it, it makes sense that it's sick. Yeah, nice E-Speed. Nice E-Speed, bro. I'd like to take out the Feeny. We'll see if uh, we can. Get a decent amount of attack. Big Zashian boy. That's awesome. That basically just lets us check the uh, Kali whenever we feel like it now. So we have Haunter and Heatran. See, Heatran's slower. We've already shown the ally switch. I don't hate Haunter here. Hunter, Hunter. I guess we could have sent out Heatran and just went for like a raw Magma Storm, but I didn't want to miss, you know? If they get Trick'em up, they got a little bit of shots. Kind of want to just... I kind of want to just Destiny Bond anyways. Okay. I wonder how well he eats two Shadow Balls on the uh, Kali side. Yeah, I don't really care if I get burned. As long as we can like double tap the Entei, I think we'll be alright. Actually, we can't even get burned! You set the terrain for me, buddy. Thank you for the terrain, my friend. Please go away. Yeetus the Weetus. We do be taking this. Haunter can get burned, though. <laughs> Haunter, don't do it. It's not worth it, Haunter. Shadow Ball. We outspeed your Entei, bro. We take those. See, Haunter's more than fast enough. And look how strong it is. Haunter, Haunter's the best Pokemon. What? What a cool game. Yo, we'd be taking these, man. Love this team for us. We'd probably use this team in Series 11, too, if we wanted. Like, just Dynamax the Hunter. <laughs> All right, Zashian. Sounds like a job for Hunter. Let's go. If we can take out the Lecky, that's nice. I think I'm actually just going to lead Heatran. Like, what do you do? You'd have to go You'd have to go Lando. So I'm going to lead Heatran. I think I'm going to lead, like, Heatran Whims. And then go Zashian Hunter and switch in my Hunter if they want to bring in that Lando. Just switch it in. Yeah, because I think I think Heatran's really good. But uh Flash Cannon versus Grim, Heat Wave, Magma Storm. It can be really, really good. Heatran is an underrated pick. I think the only thing I'm really afraid of is like high horsepower Rilla. So I think we're gonna be alright. Heatran big busted though. They're looking at this Heatran being like, oh fuck, it's a Heatran. <laughs> I know they are. I would. I would. And I will Magma Storm the shit out of that Lucky if they give me a shot. Because I know you got that Sash over there. So let's see. Are they going to be a good player and lead Lando? That's like the real question. That's such a hard like thing to figure out too. Like Lucky Lando is probably the right lead here. And you shouldn't be fake outing and save those for the back. Grimrilla? That works for me. Like, sounds like he feels Heatran, man. <laughs> I mean, you can fake out me if you want. But like, I woke up chose violence. I'm I'm gonna actually just moonblast this Grim right now. Cause if you want to fake out the whims, um, you're just gonna the Heatran. If you want to fake out the Heatran, I'm gonna chunk your Grim. You know what? I'm actually just gonna Magma Storm the Rilla because I don't like that thing. Do I want a Tailwind? No, I don't need. To. I I don't really even need to. I hope I don't get high horsepower. That would suck. The thing is, like, why would you bring Rilla if you didn't have it? You know, that's another that's another good question. But I mean, the first turn they're probably fake out the whims. And there is grassy terrain. There it is, fake out targeting. They respect. Put some respect on my name. There's a light screen. Cool. So we can just uh, we can just encore the Rilla and just start plinking things. So free damage on this Grim, by the way. And we haven't had to set a tailwind yet, so it's really really good. Absolutely big damage on that Grim. So we can probably KO it with a flash cannon here. Even though there's a light screen, but I still think we can probably get the KO. Go for the Encore here. Give me that Encore into Fake Out. Yeah, if Moonblast did that much, I think uh, Heatran probably does more. 
Heatran's a legendary, okay? So have fun using fake out, bro. Have fun using fake out. Trick. Huh. Is it like a lagging tail or something? Even my Heatran and item? An Iron Ball Heatran. Assault Vest Grim? What now? Have fun with that. <laughs> Yay! That's good damage. So like Heatran doesn't give a shit about this. Um, do we even want to Tailwind here? I think we just want to kill the Grim. Magma Storm into the realist slot because you don't have to switch. And uh, just go for a raw Moonblast. We don't need to set our Tailwind right now. There's like absolutely no reason to. This is a free Magma Storm. They're so pinned. Thanks for the trick, buddy. Yeah, we're drop. So something can just come in and die. Like straight up. Lando? Bro! I don't know about this one, Chief. Like, obviously you do have a light screen, but like this is going to do a lot. This is going to do a lot. And it's the dot. It's the dot that makes it significant. The power of swirling magma. Let's go. Magma storm. Oh, that hurts my freaking soul. My soul is broken right now. If you want to send your real out here, you know what's going to happen. It has to be Zashim. All right, so they're going to go Behemoth Blade into the Whims and a Earth Power into Heatran. So, or a close combat into Heatran. We're just going to stop all that by switching in our boy Hamta Hamta. Let's go. Switch in the Haunter. I am going to Tailwind here, even on the Switch. And that way I can, like, mix it up and use Encores next turn if they do something bad. Like, I can Encore them into Earth Power, which means they can't ever hit the Haunter. Let's go! Show me the power of Levitate, Haunter! Save that Heatran 1v1 that real in the back. Sub, so we just Encore that. Cool. EP baby! Blocked! Levitate. Awesome. Do we even want to break the sub? I don't think there's a reason to. Yeah, they're just going to start chunking the Lando down. Let's go. Bro, you saw the Encore. What made you think you can get away with that? What made you think you can get away with that? You saw the Encore already. Quick Claw, let's go. Let's go. Encore. Enjoy your sub. There's still a light screen up, but like this is still gonna do a decent chunk. 30, 40 yeah, percent? That's still a lot. Nice sub. Sludge bomb into the whims, right? Nice. So we can encore it into sludge bomb as well to make it so they can't really hit Heatran. <laughs> Let's see, should I just protect Wimps here? I should probably protect Wimps. Oh, we can just double into the Lando and kill it. The uh, train's gone. The, the, sorry, not train. The uh, screen's gone. Yeah, we just kill the Lando here. We take these. Bye, Lando. And if you protect, you know the Encore's coming next turn. You switch out for Rilla, but like, Rilla doesn't really want to eat this either. And remember, you couldn't have got the poison with the Sledge Bomb because you're Sheer Force. So Haunter's out here. Out here making plays right now. Let's go. Haunter with the finishing blow. Special attack drop. Don't even need it. Shadow Ball. Love that for us. Sick. Nice sub. We need to be able to reapply this sub. Just throwing that out there. Um, and we can do that by like ally switching when they come in. For, like we're going to come and protect. Ankur's going to end. And then they're going to go for a... Uh, like a grassy glide into the whims, and I'm gonna ally switch encore that turn. So he's got to think a couple turns ahead. If they get to keep their sub and like whims never dies, we will probably lose. So we, <laughs> we have to do this correctly. This is the last turn of encore, right? Yeah, awesome. So we're just gonna protect this turn and just go for. I, I we don't we don't need we don't need to show anything here. I guess if we destiny bomb, that would keep them off of our slot. So in case they want to knock off this turn, it's actually better to destiny bomb if they read our protect. Cause then, then they can't. Then we just encore anyways. So I'll go for the destiny bond. Cause they, they wouldn't attack that slot anyways. And just protectors, make sure. Cool. And then next turn we show the ally switch. And then we re encore the Zashin, and then we start taking out the Rilla. DP baby, show me that knockoff. Show me knockoff, buddy. I'd love to see it. I love it. Sub, yeah. Show me knockoff. Show me knockoff. 
Yo! <laughs> Thanks, fam. Thank you, friend. I really appreciate your donation of your life force to the Haunter. Haunter big busted out here. Straight up, absolutely big, big busted. You'll love to see that. Alright, we just sent out our Zashi and basically just win. Alright. TY. They can sub for days, but eventually they'll lose it. You know? We have enough Encores, I think. That was sick. We talked about it. We set it up, you know? And, like, again, if they wanted to fake out the whims, um, and we Destiny bonded there, Destiny might last into Haunter Axe again. So they wouldn't have attacked that Haunter slot. They definitely would have still went after the whim slot, which would have made the ally switch even better. I think they're the scoop. We still have six Encores. Yeah. You can go for Protect. Okay. You can, you can keep subbing here. I understand what they're thinking. They're like, I can just sub out all the Encores. Not true. Because <laughs> you're going to be faster than me, which means I'm going to break you here. And then I'm just going to go Tailwind, hit you, and then you're not going to have a sub, and then I win the game. Yeah. Almost, though. Almost got me. The power of Haunter, man. Haunter switched in on an Earth power. Got the Chaos on the Rill. Got the KO on the Lando. Like, it, I think it just goes to show that, like, literally, any Pokemon can be made to be good if they're as good as Haunter is. <laughs> yeah, two turns there. Yeah, we just go Tailwind up. This guy probably feels so cheesed. But I'm the meme master. Yeah, battle was canceled. Haunter busted, man. Haunter absolutely big busted. Making plays for days out here on Halloween. Guys, think about answering the question today. Let me know what your plans are for this wonderful Halloween. Halloween's one of my absolute favorite holidays. I got a bunch of plans myself. And uh, guys, be safe out there. Be safe. Don't do not do anything I wouldn't do. And that means, um, you know, should just be safe, guys. Hopefully you guys had a good one. Um, starting tomorrow, we are going hard into series 11 content i got some super cool series 11 teams uh you guys can check those out by checking out the patreon this team's also gonna be up on patreon within a couple hours of this video so if you guys want to use this team uh you know to play some halloween themed games with haunter if you've been inspired think about checking out the link to the patreon other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace out